Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video regarding day and market summary for the 16th of October 2024. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. First, we will view things on the 5 minutes chart like we generally do. Then we'll go on to our 4 hour charts. So this is mid cap on the left and uh, nifty on the right. Both are spot charts. Uh, I've incurred losses today and the damage was done uh, pretty early on and uh, the more I try to recover and come out of the damage the more damage was happening so in any case uh, it was a tough day for option buyers according to me even though my view of the market was correct yet I incurred losses all right so my view of the market today was I was certain that nifty will all indices will close in the red today let's check nifty spot is red uh mid cap is flat bank nifty is marginally red fin nifty is flat so more or less the market has closed flat to slightly negative and uh, yesterday uh, the global markets were not looking good i thought a little more damage will happen to indian markets but it did not happen it more or less closed flat and uh, today, uh, the way premiums are moving was also a little different. At least I felt like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was sitting at the wrong strike prices or whatever. Generally, generally the things that work for me today did not work. All right. So, any case, no use harping about what has already gone. We'll just try to better ourselves. So, mid cap and nifty both look more or less flat. I mean, Nifty is just 86 points low. That's not even half a percent. And the mid cap on the spot chart is 2.5 points high, which is nothing. Peanuts is basically flat. Let's look at Fin Nifty and mid cap Nifty. So this is Fin Nifty on the net, net and Bang Nifty on the right. So Fin Nifty on the left, Bang Nifty on the right. The way Fin Nifty and Bang Nifty behaved today was, I think, unusual. Maybe it was because of the expiry today. Uh, premiums were hardly moving uh, in Bang Nifty. And uh, I faced most of the damage from Mid Cap and Bang Nifty. I think had I been on Nifty today, I would have uh, been in a better shape. Any case, you live, you learn, and what has happened has happened. So this is how the markets were today. Uh, I've checked uh, the person I follow. I don't follow during market hours, but when I, I generally see his video every day, uh, which is intraday hunter. He's one of the best intraday traders I've come across. He's also made a loss today. And one or two more traders that I follow, I see that some of them have made losses and some of them have made gains also. So uh, everybody is not uh, in a loss. Some have made gains also, but the major players have all made big losses small losses or losses of some kind i hope you had a better day than me and i'm looking forward to a better day tomorrow than today all right because i think bank nifty expiry was uh, problematic tomorrow is nifty expiry so let's see how things turn up reliance has closed uh, 20 points higher today uh, i should have bought some reliance when it had gone below 2700 any case i think uh, I'll just absorb it for a couple of days and see how things are going. After this video, I'll also see what the status of uh, Hyundai IPO is. I don't think it's getting a very good response. Retail portion is uh, yesterday was only 0.2% or 27% done on the first day. So let's just see. I think it will just manage to scrape through. Uh, I think... Uh, the history of big IPOs in India has not been very good apart from the recent one that is Bajaj Housing Finance generally the history of big IPOs in India is not good and uh, Hyundai IPO is the biggest IPO so far all right now let's move on to our four hour charts first we'll be using the custom Fibonacci series like we already all, always do this is the automated custom Fibonacci some people are mistaking this and watching my other video called custom Fib uh, i mean automated fibonacci there are two videos available on my channel called automated fibonacci but they are different these are custom levels the levels that i use 
and we have found a way to automate this if you want to learn this then consider becoming a member on the channel this video is available for members all right in any case guys so if you look at mid cap it is close today below the support the support was 25053 and it's today closed at 25031 about 20 points below the support i'm of the opinion that this market will correct from here i don't see strength and i think it will do the head and shoulder that we have been discussing last couple of days however i can be absolutely wrong this market is full of surprises so this this and this will happen this neckline will break and it'll probably go down let's look at uh, bank nifty <clears throat> okay just a second okay here we are bank nifty let me check okay it's exactly sitting on the support line the support line is at 51997 it has closed 52028 is that the exact level let just give me a second let me confirm okay yeah this is the futures level spot is below 52000 in any case it's just about sitting on the uh support line again i think over here the chances of this head and shoulder completing is pretty high yesterday i had mentioned that if it needs to fall it needs to fall from its current level so I see that happening. I think it's facing resistance exactly over here, which is the previous shoulder high as well. So chances of this market going down in my view are higher than going up. That's it. Fit Nifty will pretty much follow Bank Nifty. As you can see over here, same thing is visible. This also. This will be the neckline 23569. And it may break down and go down mid cap mid cap is not a head and shoulder it's something else also get all together mid cap may do a elliot wave kind of a thing so it may do one two three four five something like that or i can use the elliot wave indicator also and show you let me just check where is elliot wave yeah elliot wave impulse okay zero to one two three four something like that is a possibility in uh, mid cap let's just see today i thought mid cap would correct but it did not correct it just ended flat i was of the opinion that mid cap will have at least a hundred point correction today but it did not have that so that is one of the primary reasons i've had losses today again goes to show that you are not supposed to assume and presume things go with the flow trade what you see not what you think all right so mid cap is between two fib levels on top it'll have resistance at 13243 at the bottom there's support at 13059 nothing much to discuss today was a difficult day so adaptive trend finder is showing that nifty is still in an uptrend range is quite wide candles have gone back into the tunnel so all good bank nifty is making it's still in making green candles or trying to make green candles so that the trend changes i doubt it but yeah it'll need four five days of green candles for the trend to shift upwards again then nifty also same story as bank nifty it needs four five days of green closings for the trend to sh shift and start looking up face mid cap is in its own world candles have come out and gone back in into the tunnel range is quite wide and it's probably the strongest index right now compared to the other three at the bottom also you can see it's turning and trying to go up so mid cap is in its own world but you got to be careful with mid cap because mid cap can erase five six seven days in one candle it's one, of, one of those dangerous indices and you got to be a little careful with mid cap it's turning out to be very volatile 
just like bank nifty and i've said this many times it may become a future favorite for options traders sometimes i feel i should stop trading options for some time and probably switch to futures futures just requires a higher capital and uh, capital is not a problem but the charges are higher in futures that's why i tend to stick to options but sometimes i feel futures is a better bet at this point of time maybe i'll give it a shot again i have traded futures quite a bit in the past but i have not been trading futures for about one and a half two years right now maybe i should get back to trading futures data also shows sebi data shows that uh, 90 percent or 93 percent people lose in options so about seven percent or something make money in options but about 40 percent i think i heard someone telling about 40 percent make in futures so let's see uh, i i hate the 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 sst charges that have gone up i think uh, charges should come down in india to trade uh, i feel it very unfair when when you are when you're making losses also the government is charging you but uh, today may be a rant day for me because uh, of the losses that i've made so let me vent out my frustration so yes i think the charges should go down i think the stt charges should go down and overall charges should go down there's so many taxes by the government on traders so i don't think it's just i think the charges should be lower compared to what it is right now and all this uh, panda about you know we are increasing the charges so that people are discouraged from trading nobody is discouraged people who trade will trade a smoker will smoke a drinker will drink uh, it's all uh, it's all ways of making more money for the government and uh, they're giving various reasons as if they are very concerned about people losing money if they were so concerned india would have been a lower taxation country i don't have a problem with taxes i have a problem that even after paying so much taxes uh, we don't have any benefits especially in our old age our uh, we pay taxes for the road we pay toll tax we pay registration tax and god knows what not um, half the car that you buy new half the charges are like government it's made by the government a car that is costing about 6 lakhs becomes 10 lakhs because that 40 percent is all government charges and stuff like that so today i have read i have uh, i have vented out my frustration generally i don't uh, but yes so a good loss making day and a good chance to vent out my frustrations hopefully tomorrow i'll be in a good mood even today i'm in a good mood just a little disappointed i could have handled the situation better but it's okay winning and losing is part of the game if you win don't try, don't be too happy if you lose don't be too sad that's the name of the game on that note i'll end this video thank you so much for watching if you are already a subscriber then please consider becoming a member on the channel if you have not yet subscribed then please like and subscribe to the channel share this video with your family and friends please give this video a thumbs up it motivates us to make more videos for you also subscribe to our free telegram channel the link is given in the description below in all our videos i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye